What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so we've had a long adventures. Long adventure, I should say. I don't know why I said adventures. Hmm. But yes, we've had a long adventure guys and I think it's time to finally call it a day when it comes to Pokemon Platinum. We've captured all the event Pokemon, we've did everything we could. With the exception of two things. Yes, I already know, guys. And, uh, well, I think it's finally time to settle it right here. And that is going straight to the Pokemon League for the second time. Now, the team that I'm going to be using is a majority of my Kanto team. With the exception of one. And that is good old Toothless. Because Toothless has been, uh, uh, has been proven to be a very, very, very good Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and start defeating everybody. Here we have Aaron of the Elite Four, and he does have some Bug-type Pokemon. So what's going to happen is, yes, we're gonna be, we're gonna be speeding through this whole thing. He does have much improved team at level 65, and trust me, when it when it comes to this, guys, every single level it gets better and better. They get up to level 60 and 70, and it's just it, it's horrible. So as you guys can see, he does have some pretty good Bug-type Pokemon, but. It's nothing Big Booty Butt Kids can actually uh, handle. And so, we're going to go with our good old buddy Tornado right here. And, well, it looks like to me this is going to be a tough one right now because, well, Scizor is just coming at me. And, well, here comes Drapion. Well, let's go with the Drill Peck. And, well, going with Toothless right here. Toothless going for the Earthquake Attack, and that's how you do it right there. So... Yes, we're going to be speeding through this whole... Well, we're going to be speeding through the uh, majority of the Elite Four. There's only... There's probably only one person that I don't want to speed through, and that is the girlfriend herself, because if you guys remember in our last visit, yeah, she kind of creamed us. She kind of made us a... Uh, she kind of she kinda made us squeal like little piggies, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yes, she was very, very good, and it was scary how good she was. And, uh, well, let's see. There is something that I kind of want to do here. Um, if I remember correctly, let's see. Hmm. I don't think I have that. It oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, Energy Ball. Who should learn it? No. Oh, wow. Smoke can learn it. So I'm going to teach Smoke Energy Ball. And, well, I can take away uh, Double Team. Smoke, as many of you guys already know, is a Pokemon that I can use as a pawn just to, you know, use Curse Attack and all that stuff. So, here we go. Let's get it. <sighs> Let's go. So, speed through this. And here we have Bertha, I believe. Yes, her name is Bertha. She's not big. She does have ground-type Pokemon. And the Pokemon she starts off with is Whiskash. This is the reason why we got Energy Ball, because this can actually help us out right here. And here comes Hippowdown. Hippowdown likes to use Sandstream, so we're going to evade it with, uh, you know, Rain Dance, and we're going to surf our way, powering it up, and, well, let's go ahead and continue with this whole uh, water-type attack right here. Golem's coming out. The first two Elite Four members are just too easy. Maybe even the third, and here comes here comes Rhyperior, a very, very not superior Pokemon, and just like that, we have defeated uh, Bertha. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now the third Pokemon trainer we're going to be facing happens to be the fire type trainer himself, Afro Thunder, if he was uh, into electric type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use a max revive and go up against this dude. So here we go. Flint is ready to battle us, and we're going to be doing our thing with Rain Dance. Power oh, wow. Okay, we're going to do that. And Surf Attack right there. Nobody's getting a power-up except for me. Here we go. Surf Attack yet again. And as you guys can see, his Pokemon are going up event, uh, up towards level 70. So look at that. Leonardo's growing to level 82. Going with a Surf Attack yet again. And here comes Flareon. And bam. Just be aware that Flareon may be the butt of the everybody's joke. But it does have a special defense. So there you go. We have defeated our third member of the Elite Four of Sinnoh very easily. Now, here comes the fourth one, and this guy happens to be a Psychic-type trainer. So, let's go right ahead and be a little special. Let's go with Toothless right here, now that it's grown to level 69, I believe. So, here we go. Lucian, bring it on. So, here's Lucian. He's got himself Psychic-type Pokemon, but I got Crunch Attack. 
And here comes Espeon. This Pokemon is a monster when it comes to its special attacks. Just be aware of that. As you guys can see, it made easy work against my, uh, my Toothless. So, let's go with a Shadow Ball and good gravy. All right, Tornado, do it. Drill Peck. Just remember, most of these Psychic-type Pokemon are very, very weak to physical attacks. And Glade just beat the Tar Crowd out of my Pokemon, so... Here we go, Surf Attack for the win. There it is. And here comes Alakazam, a very, very powerful Psychic-type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, it's making quick work of my Pokemon. I am down to two. Alright, Iron Tail for the win. And just like that, Shocker grows to level... 80 or 79 so let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon thankfully we got big booty Buckus against a bronzong so eat this bronzong flamethrower for the win and that's how you do it that's right okay so we've beaten the elite four and now yes we got the champion and oh man oh man this is going to be a fun one because if you guys remember, when we first took on Cynthia, she whooped our butts, and I had to use a crap ton of max potions, revives, the whole nine yards. I, th I, I think I even used up two max revives, too, so it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are going to have a fun time with this Pokemon trainer. So, the Pokemon that is going to take this bullet is going to be Toothless right here. Okay, so, not Toothless, but... Big booty butt kiss. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. We're going into the championship battle. And we're taking on our girlfriend herself, Cynthia. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. One look at you tells me many things about you. Really? Huh. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you have tried over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I could feel it from you. That's enough talking. Let's get on with why you're here. I, Cynthia, accept your challenge as a Pokemon League champion. Okay, hold on, honey. What happened to my championship? Don't you guys acknowledge that? And of course, she's gonna be like, there won't be any let up from me. Whatever you say, homegirl. Okay, so here it is, guys. The final battle against our girlfriend, Cynthia. The most powerful champion ever. And she's going to be Super Saiyan all over me. Here she comes out with the level 74 Spirit Tomb. This Pokemon has no weakness. It is a butthole. A complete butthole. And it is exerting pressure. So as many of you guys already know, when it exerts pressure, it, uh, well, <laughs> it means you're losing some PP. <coughs> and thankfully, we burned this Pokemon. So here comes its burn. Yes! Throwing out that peace sign. Yes, hooray for Kanto. And Toothless is growing levels too. And here comes Milotic. Alrighty, let's go with Smoke. Milotic, I've been waiting for your candy ass right here. So, let's go with an Energy Ball. And as many of you guys already know, Milotic is a tank when it comes to this kind of stuff. And here comes its Mirror Code attack. That's what it's been waiting for. That right there is like a counter. Except it's for special attacks. And good gravy. Beat me to the ground. Let's go with Shocker. All right, Shocker. Let's do this. For the bitches. Let's go. Discharge attack for the win. And... Come on. Finish it. Finish her. Oh, no. Oh, my God. My Lodic, you are a tank. Can't believe I didn't use one. God dang it. Okay, so let's go with the Thunderbolt while Cynthia full restores her Pokemon. All right, we're going to speed this up right here. And here comes a Thunderbolt attack. Come on. Okay, this is this is the reason why I don't like you. And here comes an Aqua Ring, which will heal up its Milotic. And, well, let's go ahead and finish. Oh, wow. Okay, so it... Wow. Okay. Let's go with an Iron Tail. All righty. Eat this, Garchomp. And that will not be effective, but that will. Although Garchomp, is, uh, its defense is lowered. So let's go with Leonardo right here. Go with an Ice Beam attack, and here comes its Dragon Rush. This Pokemon is a... Oh, wow. It's like a Super Saiyan Incarnate. 
A Super Saiyan incarnate Asada right there, and here comes Ice Beam, one of its weaknesses, and yes, this is the reason why Pokemon Planet gets a bad rap, because that HP bar just, just goes slow. And yes, say goodbye to Garchomp. Mm, 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 mm. That's right, I can smell the championship, just like last week's championship, yes. Okay, big booty butt kiss, you're up. Alrighty, alrighty. Big booty butt kiss. Let's go. Let's get it. What's up, Roserade? Yeah, okay, alrighty. So, let's go with the flamethrower attack for the win. Yeah, you didn't like me before. Here it is again. Big booty butt kiss. Come on, finish her. Oh, crap, baskets. So, it just appears that all these Pokemon are just like super powered and all that crud. So, here we go, flamethrower yet again. And there you go, Roserade defeated. And well, we get a little bit more points. Toothless, of course, gaining levels without doing anything. And here comes my Lotic. Okay, so we're gonna go with Tornado because Tornado is fast and it's physical. So, all right, we are gonna destroy you. So here comes a Drill Peck attack. Time to eat these peckers. Let's go, giggity. And just like that, Milotic takes a critical hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are running through Cynthia's team. Here she comes out with a Toga Kiss. You know what? I got a plan. Let's go right ahead and sacrifice Tornado. We do have one more Max Revive, so let's go right ahead and do that. Give that to Shocker. There you go. And here comes an Air Slash attack. And, well, let's go straight for a Steel Wing attack. And a Psychic attack messes us up. So, let's go back to Shocker. And, Shocker, time to finish this Pokemon off with a Discharge attack. Yes! Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Oh, wow. And you are paralyzed again, my friend. Yes. Okay, so here comes an Aurora Sphere. Believe it or not, does not miss. This is the Kamehameha, and that messes up. It messes us up a little. So let's go with a Thunderbolt, and yeah, Cynthia has given her Pokemon a freaking uh, full restore, and that right there is gonna cost her because here comes another Thunderbolt attack for the win. Say goodbye to Toga Kiss. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, alrighty, and here comes her final Pokemon. Alrighty, time to do it. Let's go with Big Booty Butkus, going up against Lucario himself, and let's see, I do feel as though Lucario has a, like an extreme speed, so let's go ahead and max potion his Pokemon, and here comes a Dragon Pulse. Okay, time to eat it. Flamethrower attack for the win. Yeah, Lucario, level 76. About to take this freaking flamethrower to the face, and that is how you do it. Yes, sir. And there it is, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. I am champion once again. I was not just a powerful challenger. I am uh, one of the most powerful trainers ever. And no, I am not the newest champion. I've always been champ. How in the heck do you not acknowledge that? I guess I'm not too Roman Reigns for her. God damn. Anywho, Cynthia's like, that was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support of uh, the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. And you guided them to certain to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Together, you and your Pokemon have, can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are impressions I got in our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of a new Sinnoh champion. Come with me. We'll take a lift. Giggity. Alrighty, taking a lift. Yeah, buddy. Giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. Okay. So here it is, guys. The Hall of Fame yet again. And uh, well, Cynthia's gonna be coming up towards us. Mm, 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 mm. Love the way she walks. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. And well, Professor Roman, you have to ruin this moment, huh? Draven, your last battle was splendid. 
Huh? Would you look at that? Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. The child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Draven! I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your uh, research, don't you? Draven, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. Okay. Yes, we're going to the Hall of Fame. Kicking butt, taking names. Making Cynthia our girlfriend. I am not reading this because it's the same stuff. Let's put our Pokemon into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, buddy. We are the champs, my friend. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Yes, we are the champions. Yeah, we are the champs. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, man. Yes, coughing conditions. And yes, all these Pokemon were... Yeah, they were from Kanto. I guess you could say they're champions in three different regions. Hoenn, Kanto, and now the Sinnoh region. With the exception of Nidoqueen, Smasher. Kind of wanted to try, uh, you know, Toothless. It's one of my favorite Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. So, anywho, guys. Ah, look at that. Level 69. Giggity, giggity. And there it is, your badass host, Draven, champion of everything. I am a, a champion. Anywho, that is it, guys. That is it. So, it has been a fun adventure. I am, um, I am quite satisfied with the way everything went in Pokemon Platinum. Um, you know, it's like I said before, guys. It's not one of my most favorite games ever. It, it, like, first time I ever played it was when I first came back to playing the game, okay? Playing the games and all that stuff. And Pokemon Platinum was the one that I landed on first because, well, my brother had the DS. And, you know, I've made my feelings clear. Yeah, not one of my favorite versions. Not one of my favorite regions, especially with Brilliant Diamond and, uh, and, and Shining Pearl. Yeah. But I'm actually glad that we got to cover just about everything there is in Pokemon Platinum, with the exception like the, of the Mana Fieg and the Rotom stuff. Um, again, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. Completely done with Pokemon Platinum. This is it. The next walkthrough is now the continuation of Pokemon Black and White 2. If you guys may have remembered, I think we, we ended off in episode 25 or 30... These next five episodes you will be seeing are just uh, episodes I recorded about a year ago that I haven't even gotten a chance to upload because of, you know, I believe it came during that time where we, we, we kind of made our transition into our studio before we had to leave the studio. Um, yeah, we're going to be finishing up that walkthrough. Uh, things are going to, there's going to be a few things that, that are going to change in that, that whole thing, like, you know, I'm going to change up the thumbnails. I'm going to put a little more effort into it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be kicking some butt right there. Um, the... What was it? The next walkthrough, too. The next remake walkthrough is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. That, too, will be coming out this upcoming week, whenever I get around to it. And, uh, yeah... Again, I'm, I'm actually very, very happy that the way everything is, uh, has gone right here into this walkthrough. And, uh, yeah. I just can't wait. I can't wait to finish up Pokemon White 2. Uh, that way you guys stay satisfied and all that stuff. That way we can progress into the next few walkthroughs. Uh, I think going, in, like, going into the summer and then just like finishing out the year, we are going to be finishing up some walkthroughs that we haven't even, even completed. I'm looking at you, Pokemon. Uh, stadium and Pokemon Coliseum and uh, yeah who knows we might be going back to the Alola region too I'm making plans guys but I gotta take it step step for step because once the summer's over I am going back to football mode trying to win another championship and all that crud so yes that's why I'm picking my that's why I'm picking everything bit for bit and then taking Saturdays as my recording days so again thank you guys again for being supportive Thank you guys again for being as patient as always. I, I really do appreciate the comments, whether it be good or bad. I appreciate the views, and I and I hope I hope it continues on into the next walkthrough, 
the continuation of episodes of Pokemon Black and White 2. So I'll see you guys next week as we continue our adventure over in the Unova region three years later. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.